In the central part of western Istria lies the city of Ishnyan, which has been resting here since the late 14th century. With its sights, natural beauties and harmony, it arouses the curiosity of many. It is situated on rubble and stones, which is clearly visible in the old town that was built out of stone. A paved cobblestone street runs through the city gates, which are decorated with the Venetian lion to the harmonious architecture of the St. Quirik Angelita Church, to the bell tower, city water well and the lodger. The old lodger arouses one's consciousness about their identity and patriotism, remembering the suffering of our ancestors who painstakingly ploughed the karstic terrain creating arable fields, planted vineyards and olive groves. The stone extracted while ploughing was carried to the boundaries and this is how the dry stone walls were created, which today adorn the cultivated landscape. Istrian oxen, Bakin and Boshkarin. The Istrian cattle called Boshkarin gave additional power to men during farming. Strong feelings that the Istrian people have for their cattle did not allow for this breed to disappear forever. Today, Thanks to farmers, including Mr. Mario Gasparini from Fabzi in the municipality of Ishnyan, it was made possible with considerable effort that the number of Istrian cattle increases from year to year. Development of agricultural machinery, primarily tractors, which started to be used in this area in the 70s of the last century, caused a significant reduction in the number of Istrian cattle. There were about 60,000 cattle back then, and a large number of them ended up in slaughterhouses. And in 1994, only 104 cows and 8 bulls were found in the official register. With its stature, the Istrian ox represents dignity and pride, and its mild eyes show uniqueness and gentleness. In the past, there were certain beauty criteria for the Istrian cattle. A cattle had to have a determinate form of horns, which were not supposed to be wide, because they had to plough in the vineyards. At the top of the horns, they had brass balls that were protecting the people and the cattle from possible injuries at work or in the barn. It is interesting to mention that before going to town, the brass balls were changed and represented cattle jewellery, especially during the exhibitions. Some of the more beautiful cattle did not work only to maintain their beauty. The breed of the Istrian cattle belongs to the group of the Podolic cattle. Historical records indicate that the Podolica cattle was brought to Europe during the 5th century, during the Great Migration from Podolia. The weight of oxen ranges from 800 kilos up to 1,400 kilos, depending on their height. The most common colors range from a monochromatic light grey to white, which can then turn into darker shades of grey. The calves are usually red at birth. This breed is a late bloomer, and the Istrian ox reaches its maturity at the age of six or seven, which provides an opportunity for their longer efficiency at work, as well as a longer breeding capability, which can last up to 20 years. They have survived in this area due to their extremely high working ability. The poor karstic terrain demanded extreme efforts and sacrifices from people and cattle. In this whole story, where pain is common to people and cattle, they have managed to create a friendship. During the ploughing season, the owner would feed his cattle as soon as the first rays of sun came out. Then, he would go on his way to the fields and meadows, to his vineyard and crops. The oxen and their owners spent months working together. They helped during the harvest, pull the wood, 
transported the graves during harvest and brought stone materials used for construction of circular field shelters called kajuns and forts. During those works, they would walk on narrow trails, on mountainous and hilly terrain, while harnessed. The oxen named Bakin and Boshkarin, owned by Mr. Maria Gasparini, live a similar life as their ancestors. They spend most of their time on fresh air and eat fresh grass without any forage or supplements. Selection performed when breeding is directed primarily towards health and strength of the animals and then towards emphasizing the typical features of this breed. To perform their tasks well, the oxen were taught by the owner, or these days the farmer, basic commands such as shti and tsa. When hosting the world competition in ploughing in the city of Biograd na Moru, the oxen owned by Mr. Mario Gasparini will demonstrate ploughing the way it used to be done. Flourished patience. Patience made the stone bloom, connected the stitches with grass. Patience ploughed the fields inside hearts and reached the heavenly miles. <laughs>